what in the heck we got going on here guys yep wait is that a 12w3v3 no way yep yes it is and it fits right under the seat and we're using two of these 12w3v3s by jl audio 500 watt rms each with two passive radiators and look at that clearance guys we can make an enclosure and it's going to be 3.0 cubes of uh, airspace so it's going to be a, a sealed enclosure but ported at the same time because we're adding passive radiators by slaps earthquake brand there they are Heck yeah, let's do this guys. Here's my new truck, it's a Honda Ridgeline RTLE 2023 all wheel drive. And this is a very nice truck, I love it. it feels very, very smooth. Um, there's hardly any noise inside the cabin. So it's gonna be pretty good for a sound system. And uh, so this is, a sound system uh, video so stay tuned and uh, first for most if you ever wondered where your subwoofer was located on your truck on the Honda Ridgeline well I'm gonna you're about to find out right here in this video right now let's go These are your rear seat seats, right? Okay. So let's go to the rear passenger side. So let's go. Look at that view, guys. Nice view, huh? Well, your subwoofer that is stocked with the truck is mounted here towards the back okay and there's the signal wire that plugs into which i'm gonna be uh, tapping into for the epicenter that i have and the amp and so how would you get it out Well, there's a lot of videos on how to get these seats out, but I'm gonna give you a little quick of how I got them out. So, there's three 10 millimeter bolts right under here. But before you get to these bolts, you gotta remove some plastic panels that go along right here that you gotta pop out. And they pop out very easy. But I already have them out because I'm starting to work on this uh, project of mine. So, you see the 10 millimeter bolt right there? This one. You get this one out. You get this one out right there. And there's another one right over there. Right there on the top with the yellow paint on it. Focus. Come on. Yep, that one. So you get those three 10 millimeter bolts out, and then there's some caps right here that you pop out. These right there. There's one on each side. So you pop those out, and what happens is that once you remove those 10 millimeter bolts, the three of them, then your whole seat uh, pushes pushes up. And you can remove it this uh, back panel the whole piece except except these these they stay bolted with these okay so once you get that seat out you have access to your subwoofer that's mounted here and now that i got that subwoofer pulled out i can mount my amplifier and my epicenter back here 
to compensate for the space where the subwoofer was. So that's a good plus. So that's it for the uh, back seat. All right. And now to the subwoofers. I'm gonna be having two JL 12W3V3s, 500 watts RMS each, along with two 12 inch passive radiators by Earthquake. And I think the brand is like Slaps 12, something like that. So we're gonna be having both world here, guys, with, it's gonna be kind of like having a, a sealed enclosure but port it at the same time because the port part of it comes when you add to a sealed enclosure a uh, a passive radiator to the box so this this box is gonna be three cubes exactly three cubes all right with the uh, displacement displacements of the magnet the, uh, the basket and that's gonna be good for these two 12s and they fit right under the seat um, there's something else that I've done here I added I lifted up the seats by adding two uh, three seven eights uh, pieces of uh, plywood to raise up the seat another inch and a half to give me more space all right well, let me go to the other side so as you can see I cut two two uh, three seven eight pieces of plywood stack them together drilled a hole across and then I added the, the original bolt that goes here is short once you once you add that sp that uh, space right it's about an inch and a half so I went to Ace Harbor store and got me uh, the same bolt uh, thread uh, in the uh, thickness of it but just got it a bit longer and then that right there is working pretty good added some washers and did the same thing to wherever I needed to lift up the seat so there's three spots that that one and that one and then since it's my truck I cut the little part that goes down here and bolts to this bolt because since you raise it up then you no longer need this part because once you raise it up it comes out forward a little bit more and then you have this part hanging so we don't need that because it's my truck it's it's safe it's solid it's it ain't going nowhere guys and the functionality of the seats going down still works so there's no no problem see yep so and then these bottom pieces right here i'm gonna be changing them like oh, there's, there's my bolt one bolt see Big bulky bolts very good um, I'm gonna be putting this part onto part of the enclosure so that when I lower the seat it'll hook up to that and then the panel that was here I, I did I remove because we're gonna end up placing the subwoofer and it's gonna be covering this part so you'll see in the future videos how I'm gonna end up doing this but it's gonna be looking pretty good Trust me. So this is a part one video of this project. And uh, first I'm gonna be making the subwoofer enclosure for this. And then after that, once the enclosure is done, then I'm gonna be adding the amplifier, the epicenter, and the wires to the battery. And grabbing the signal wire from the connection that's back there where the original subwoofer was mounted that's where I'm going to be tapping into and if you were wondering what what's my amp and epicenter then it's right here we got the RD 1000 slash 1 it's a very good amp I have two of these 
I love them. There's my uh, eight gauge wire that I made for my from my previous setup, and I can just connect like this very easy with these uh, gold plated terminals, male and female, which were going to my subs. Look at those, makes everything very nice. And then here's my epicenter. This is the new epicenter micro by Auto Control, and it's very i love this guys i think i paid 250 bucks for it and it's worth every penny this thing makes a night of day difference on your sound system especially if you like lows and stuff you you hit the pfm off it's on it's on guys you hitting lows like never before yep and then you connect your bass knob and that's it we kicking so yeah that's what I'm gonna be having for my sound system and uh, so yeah you can still get away by night not uh, raising up the seat leaving it stock and still make an enclosure under the seat with the 12 w3s but I want it that extra a little high so I can make the box a little bit bigger so that the internal volume can be good enough for two subs. It wasn't if I wasn't able to raise up the seat, then the internal volume of the box was wasn't gonna be enough for two subs. It will be just enough for one. So unless you're using like two eights, then you're good. You're perfect. But if you're gonna be using twelves then you have to increase the internal volume of the box when using a 12 inch sub. So since I'm, I wanna use two 12 inch subs and not sacrifice the sound and the efficiency of this, I needed to raise up my seat about an inch and a half more to gain more airspace on a enclosure so I can have the two subs. All right, so. This is part one video of the Honda Richline 2023 RTLE. So stay tuned for the subwoofer built on part two video coming up. I, mean, I don't know when, but we got some uh, rain heading this way. So I don't know. And let's see what they have available because I work too much. So let's see. Let me, give you, let me give you a quick view of the front of the truck. Let's see, let's see. So here you go. All right, guys. All right, let me show you the enclosure. This is the enclosure that you're gonna pull out from the back seat. And it's not ported, it's a, it's a sealed enclosure, about an eight inch subwoofer. And another thing I forgot to mention, if you curious to know what's positive or negative when you grab the signal wire, the black wire with the white stripe on it, it's the positive wire. And the one that is just black, that's your negative. I know that because I rem ended removing the speaker from here and the wire with the white stripe goes to the positive terminal of this sub so that's how i know that that wire with the strip uh white strip it's the positive all right guys peace